if you're married. One of the things we found was that in, in this survey, people who are married and using strip chat were more likely to report worries over infidelity, worries that uh, using strip chat and going on the webcam platforms was a form of cheating. That's one of the questions that we got asked. You know, I'll, I'll ask you, you know, is masturbating or watching cams cheating on my partner? My question or my answer back to people who asked who ask me that is if you've never talked to your partner about it, they probably will figure and believe that it is cheating. But there's an easy, I say easy, there's a way for you to turn it from being infidelity to not being infidelity. And that is by talking to your partner, by talking to your spouse, by talking to your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, um, your boyfriend. Is masturbation itself infidelity or cheating? Most people don't think so. Um, but if your partner is religious or if you're religious, um, if you... Uh, were taught that masturbation is unhealthy or that pornography is unhealthy. If your partner is uh, has low self-esteem, um, and if your partner is from the United States, they are more likely to think that you watching pornography or using webcams is a form of cheating. Um, Europeans have uh, less significant attitudes about uh, watching pornography or using webcams being infidelity. Now, if you fall in love with your par uh, with, with the person you're watching on webcam, does that turn into infidelity? Um, perhaps, especially if you've never talked to your partner about it. Uh, however, if you have said to your partner, hey, Going on webcams, um, watching, you know, folks be sexual. I enjoy it. It turns me on. It's fun to interact with these people. It's fun to talk about sexuality in this kind of way. It's fun to see people be sexual and kind of develop a relationship, but it's safe because they live on the other side of the planet. Um, if you can integrate that, accommodate it, negotiate it within your relationship, then it stops being cheating. It stops being infidelity when you can find a way to talk and make a deal with your partner about it. And if you share it with them. Couples who watch pornography and sexual media together are healthier. So here's a great way to potentially um, negotiate and accommodate use of webcams within your relationship. Invite your partner to join you while you watch. Um, sometimes watch somebody that they're interested in. Sometimes watch somebody that you're interested in. Find a way to, to share this behavior. And when we do that together, when we integrate that kind of behavior into our relationship and we make it part of our couple's sexuality, again, it stops being unhealthy. It stops being a form of infidelity because now it increases the couple's connection around sexuality. It increases the degree to which they are talking about sexuality, exploring sexuality together in healthy kind of positive ways.